Jocelyn, welcome back. Today is a very special day. It is somebody's birthday. Let's see if you can guess who it is. He loves the ice. He loves to waddle around. And he loves science. Yes, it's Benjamin's birthday. And we're going to celebrate science style. So come on, let's go to the lab. Ja, set. Now that we're in the lab, we're going to blow up these balloons. <sighs> oh, it's science. They are going to be the perfect addition to our birthday party. So what I have here is vinegar and baking soda. Now these two things, when we combine them, they go through something called a chemical reaction, which means that they make something brand new. In this case, they're making gas. See all those bubbles? We're gonna take all of this gas and we're going to put it inside of our balloon. So now there's baking soda in here, vinegar in here, and on the count of three, we're going to combine them. Ready? One, two, three. All of those bubbles are popping and filling up the balloon with gas. What did the monster eat at the birthday party? Ice cream cake! <laughs> what do you say to the rabbit on his birthday? Happy birthday! <laughs> Okay, so now that we've decorated for Benjamin's birthday party, it's time to move on to the candles. I don't know about you, but I love making a wish on my birthday. But Benjamin's a penguin, so he needs a little help to blow out his candles. So for this experiment, we're going to use science to try to help Benjamin blow out his candles. So we'll need some vinegar and some baking soda. And when we combine those together, they make carbon dioxide gas. It's inside of those bubbles. Now as the bubbles pop, the gas is still around this area. You just can't see it. But we can move the gas over a candle to blow it out. Now let's see if we can make a little bit more carbon dioxide gas to blow out all four of his candles. Here comes the carbon dioxide. Ready? Three, two, one. It worked! <laughs> so now Benjamin can make a wish on his birthday. I think the party is finally ready. Let's go find him. 